Those cups, line them with alcohol, and then quickly light it on fire and occlude it to the skin. Then it will begin suction. So almost as if you touched a vacuum to your skin and it just sucked it up. Leave the cups for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, and there is five meridians that run throughout the back of the body, which is your chi, your life force. The effect of having suction on the skin is going to pull blood deep down to the surface of the body and also start nourishing muscles that have been very tight and adhesed for a long period of time. So particularly for sports injuries and long-term injuries, it can provide to be a very valuable form of treatment. We just did the fire cupping on April. As you can see, she has some marks here from the cups, but this one over here tends to be the darkest one out of all the spots. And that is where she had her trigger point earlier when we were covering that. It's right in there. So usually when I do the cupping, I want to put them on the trigger points or the areas that are just always tense. So in her case, she had a lot of tension and stagnation going all through her shoulder blades right here and around up to her traps. So as you can see, that one was dark. She doesn't have a lot of coloration showing up, which isn't a bad thing. Her marks here just seem to be a lighter pink, which these ones will dissipate and go away by tonight, probably, or tomorrow morning. Um, a lot of my clients that do the fire cupping, they have dark purple spots, um, dark red spots. They might stay for half a week to a whole week, or in some instances, if they're really bad, it might go on to two weeks. Um, just because she has light spots does not mean that she's not stagnant or that she does not have areas that need attention on them. This just means her body reacts in a different way. Her tissue inflames more versus breaking those blood vessels and letting that stagnant blood out. She's still letting the stagnation out. It's just she's letting it out in an inflammatory way. I get a lot of people that ask me, you know, when can I come and get fire cups next? Or when will the marks go away? So like I was covering before, the darker the mark, the darker the spot, the longer it's going to stay there. And stuff that helps with the dissipation of them is drinking water, staying hydrated. The more you stay hydrated, the faster the spots will go away. And you can get cupped whenever, as long as the marks are gone, you can come in for another cupping session. We usually don't want people to come in, you know, say three or four days after a cupping session. We want them to wait about two, three weeks just to make sure everything's clear. And you might be surprised the next time you get cupped, there might not be any marks there or the marks not, might not be as dark as the first session was. So for April here, if she were to come back in, you know, two to three weeks, she could be like this. This spot might not even be as dark, or this spot might not be as dark, and all of these ones could be darker since we're bringing the stagnation up to the surface. And a lot of people ask me what stagnation is. So stagnation is when your blood sits in the muscle and in that connective tissue and just sits there. It's not doing anything. It's not getting circulated in the tissue. That's what happens when our fascia gets tight. It just lets the blood sit there. So when we're doing the cupping, it's bringing that stagnant blood and toxins out of that blood vessel and bringing it to the surface. And that is where that coloration is coming from. If you're someone looking for relief, you can give me a call or reach me on my Facebook page at Serene Body Works LLC or reach me on my website at beaverdammassage.com.